you all know the drill by now. The first thing I'm doing as always is priming the eye area. This step is so important as it ensures your shadows will last all day long. If you take the time to prep, there won't be a crease in sight. Once I've laid down that base, I'm going to set it in place with the powder to really lock it in. Any powder will do, I'm just using a translucent face powder today. I'm busting out my Kat Von D palette again today because it's all I've been using lately and I know you lot wanted a couple of more tutorials with the palette too. The first shade I'm taking is a matte white shadow and I'm beginning by packing it all the way along the under portion of my brow. It's going to sharpen my brows and make them look more defined while adding a highlighting effect. Then I'm just using a clean blending brush to dust away the excess and to lightly soften the edges and I'm also going to add a light wash of this colour to the inner third of the eye but I'll jump back to this step a little later. Now I'm taking a felt tip liner pen, this one is by Essence, and I'm just mapping out the shape of my winged liner. I like to do this prior to eyeshadow application because it gives me a guide as to where to blend my shadows in from and it stops me from making mistakes with my winged liner later on. I know it seems a little odd but I'll have a full video on liner hacks next week and I'll elaborate further then. Next I'm going in with Lazarus and this is a cool toned taupe shade. A little booklet comes with this palette filled with pictorials and one of the looks it says to apply this as your base shade from lid to brow but personally I find the shade too dark for that so I'm using it as my transition colour today. As we are going for a cool toned look it works really well for this step. Now I'm taking this darker taupey brown shade and I'm adding it into the crease as well. I'm starting by smoking it on the outer third of the eye and then I'm blending what's left on my brush across the crease. Then I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm buffing around the edges of the shadow. Edges being the important word in that sentence, only blend where you need to. You don't want to buff over the entire crease area, you want to keep the pigmentation in that area and you just want to soften the edges. Now I'm taking this matte black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and I'm just laying it down on the outer third of the eye, kind of along the tail of the winged liner. Then I'm using a small, more precise brush to blend the shadow out and as I'm blending I'm pulling the colour up into the crease. Black is a hard colour to work with and you don't want to mess up at this point so take a little on your brush at a time and apply the shadow, blend it out and repeat this process a few times. You'll get a much better finish this way than if you had have went in with a bucket load of black on your brush first. Back to my pencil brush again, I'm taking that dark taupey brown and I'm adding it onto the lid next to the black. Then I'm taking the large taupe shade and I'm applying this next to the shade that we applied previously, so right in the middle of the lid. And then I'm intensifying that white on the inner third of my lid. So with blending the other shadows in the crease, I'll have lost some of the intensity of the white. So I'm just reapplying and blending it out so that it looks nice and crisp again. Now that I've finished with my eyeshadow, I'm going in with a liquid liner and I'm tracing over that guideline. I haven't worn liquid liner in my last few tutorials, so I'm going ham with it today. I'm applying a nice thick line and I'm going to pull the liner down on the inner corner of my eye too, just to give me a nice feline look to the eyes. Now I actually decided to thicken that line later on so this part doesn't really apply now but if you have trouble getting that nice sharp point on the inner corner a good tip is to go in with some concealer on a small brush and just correct your mistakes. I'm applying some lashes now and I have a full tutorial on this step which I'll leave linked below but basically I just pop them in the centre of my lid above my natural lashes and then I tack down the outer and inner edges. And don't worry if they don't look right when first applied, the glue will still be tacky so you'll have a little time to move them around into the position that you want. Now I'm adding a cold pencil to my waterline and personally I just hate this step but I love the finish so I just stick with it but I do find it hard to apply liner to the inner portion of my eye so what I like to do is I paint some of the liner onto a small brush and then I transfer the product that way instead. As I mentioned previously, I'm thickening up that point on the inner corner now and like I said, if it's not as sharp and defined as you want it to be, run some concealer along the edges. Now I'm smoking some of that dark taupey shade along the lower lash line. I like to use a pencil brush for this step but I switch to a small angled brush for the inner corner because I just find it easier to apply the product to the area with that brush and then I'm smoking it all out with a blending brush. 
I'm going in with a black eyeshadow now again and I'm running this along the lower lash line too. But I'm also pressing the black onto my waterline and this will set the liner in place so that it doesn't wear down or smudge throughout the day. Finally then, I'm going to add a few coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.